Does the money stop when you stop working? If the answer is yes, then what you have created is a job and not a business. How do I know? In 2002, when the dot com that I joined went bust and I was down with $60,000 worth of credit card debt, it was at the lowest point of my life. I had only $15 in my bank account and I was on the brink of being made a bankrupt because I was not able to pay my credit card bills. I'm with only one skill that I knew at the time, writing business plan. I started calling all the small and mid-sized enterprises that I knew. Fortunately, there was still some goodwill left and I managed to secure some projects and at the same time, preserve my dignity. I will continue to do that for the next 11 years until when we had our second child, when I consciously made the decision to want to invest more time with my family. And the trade-off was time spent at work. In other words, my income was going to drop. The only way for me to still have the same level of income was to charge more per client, but that wasn't going to be the case. And that was when I realized that what I have was not a business but a job because how much I earn depends on how much time I put into my work. Now many of us consultants, trainers, speakers, coaches and freelancers, we choose to work for ourselves because we love the freedom that comes with being self-employed. But I have two questions for you. Does the money stop when you stop working? Or would you like to still be paid even while you slept? If you answer yes to both of these questions, then this series of videos is going to be for you because I'm going to share with you my journey going from being self-employed to becoming an entrepreneur. Hi, my name is Melvin and I'm your host for Reinvent Yourself, leveraging your talent to maximize and multiply your income.